Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. So, just uh, auto pathing there. We should be good to go. I was actually just uploading the last episode's video. And now we're starting the next one. So, what we're going to be doing today is probably a Hakovin run. And then our next video will probably be going to Margoria. Because today, for our barter run, we have... Honestly, that's about like 550-ish coins going to Hakovin. And on our next route, we have about like 800. Let me actually calculate this. Hold on. 180, 220. Give about 400, 530, 670. 800 yeah, and about like a little under a thousand coins for Margoria today Yeah, while we're doing that, I guess we could check out the market for everything. I was thinking about getting a another Black Star. Not really to use it, but I want to get a Tet just so I can Cron pen attempts one day. <laughs> like, I, I want to pen Black Star. But I also, like, it's probably cheaper to buy one if I could get a hundred billion, but imagine saving that much. The most money I've ever saved is probably like 70 billion silver. And that was like a struggle. And then I was actually thinking about it at one point when I had 70 bill, I was like, do I want a pen distortion, pen ogre? Or save up more and get a pen black star. And the answer I chose was Ogre. It's 80 billion now, but I got mine for I think 67 billion before things went up in price. Like everything went up in price. So I'm I'm happy with my decision. Whoever has the order on the Pen Ogre, literally just buy the Layton, dude. It's the same thing. To be honest, if I were... If I could have an Ogre or Layton, I would have chose the Layton. Just because it looks cooler. It's the exact same stats. I actually wanted a Tungrad Necklace when I had that money, but... That was like five bill more, and then it's like, I don't think the Black Spirit Rage is worth that much to me. I really need to actually use this and not let it go over a cap. Let's see, I have eight billion now. My goal is to buy a Tet Distortion for preferably not 18.4 bill. In fact, if anything, probably 17 billion. And what I would do is sell my one of my Tet Tungrad earrings. Uh, honestly, like. I wish I sold it for 6.7 when I had the opportunity. So next time it goes up in price, if it goes up in price, 
I'm just gonna sell that one. And then... Crescent Ring. Oh my god, dude. Really? These developers... Put the most random obstacles. This is kind of a scary thing to be selling right now. The price has been going up and down. Like, I've seen it go up to 4.8. Honestly, it's actually doing better than I thought. Because I thought after people uh, ended or early retired their season character, I thought this was going to go down to like 4. Point or like, I don't know, 3.8 billion. But apparently, it's not. So that's good. <laughs> So if I get that, like 4.6 billion, after taxes, that's probably like 4 billion. If I were to sell it for that much, so it's whatever. 12 billion, and then if I were to sell that one, or not. Sell a uh, tongue grad earring, I could probably get another 5 billion out of that, so I'd be at 17. So technically enough to buy a disto. But I'm also not really in a rush to buy it. Like, if I get it, cool. If not, I can wait. Because these things are going up. Um, the people, the only people who really should get this are people who build full DP shies or witch wizards. But, uh, I don't think these are going to be the standard because. There's no AP. It's straight DP. So I know people will use it. Like big and shiny. Probably. But I don't think it's going to be distortion level good. Or, I don't know. Yeah, distortion. Narc. Tungrad. See that turn speed? So, so I've been like looking over it. If I were to get full plus 10 blue gear and then like 10% in my sailing bonus, I really wish you can hover over like these and see the same exact things that you can see here. To be honest, that would be nice. Like the 10%. If I could get that, plus full 10 blue boat gear, I think I'd be at like 220%. And then everything else is up another like 10%. But overall, like, I'm just happy with where I'm at. The fact that I even got a Carrick is pretty nice. That was a huge milestone for me. I'm also not like in a big rush to get a distortion earring. I'm definitely not paying 18 bill for one. If I if they see them listed at like 17, I'll happily buy one. And if I had the money, but 18 is going a little bit high for me. Sometimes I'm like so tempted to just be like, let me just YOLO this and hope I hit that. Oh, there's a pen distortion sold two days ago.
I don't think I'd pay 12 billion for a Tungrad ring. I think the most I'd pay for one is probably like nine to 10 billion. That's how much I value them at. boat that is what the heck there's one sold yesterday honestly low key though if you're gonna go for a pen like ogre layton or necklace just get the necklace if you can because it's only 1.5 billion higher and that is best in slot I mean you save 1.5 billion by getting the other one but if you had the choice and it wasn't like a five billion difference, like when I was buying one, I would get the necklace. 1.5 billion for 20% black threat rage is a little bit more worth it, but not like anything more. I'm just out of curiosity. Vediants are probably dead, right? Because everyone plays Succession Dark Knights these days. That's kind of exactly what I expected it to look like. And then, I don't know. There are some classes that still play Awaken, like Witch and Wizard. Probably is a different story. Yeah, sold out with orders. Witches play Awakened a lot. I think Wizards optionally do. Yeah, that's kind of more accurate. Um, Mystic is another class that's uh, half and half from what I've seen. And I think everyone plays Awaken Guardian. So yeah, I'm actually not even surprised that <laughs> there's just a lot of dandies at min price compared to everything else. If this is not a reflection of Succession Dark Knights are better than Awakened Dark Knights by a long shot, I don't know what to tell for all of this. Like, do you even play your own game? Let's see, what else? Um... I'm not actually sure. I've seen a lot of people play both uh, Warriors and both Valkyries. Oh, we're looking at the wrong thing. So Warriors, I've seen people play both still. Sold out. Um, I think Succession Sork is significantly better than Awakened Sork. At least that's what I've been told. Um, Zerkers, I'm not sure. I think people are saying Succession more, but I think both of them are pretty good. Gonna be honest, I don't really see a lot of Rangers at all, but I'm pretty sure. Just by looking at this, if it's at min price, that means people are playing Succession. Tamers. Oh no, actually. Is this Succession Tamer actually really strong? I don't really fight a lot of them. That's not a good sign when there's only one list that's not even at max price. Musa's Dead class. It's actually sad, because when I, like, 
first started this game and I saw Musas, I thought they were really cool. Like, they are so cool. They get, like, infinite dashes. And then here they are in this current state. I think Musas, like... I don't know. It's hard to decide because when I fight Musas, all they do is dash away and run away. I'm just like, oh, do you want to fight or are you just going to run away? But then when they do hit you, they're actually pretty hard hitting. So they have mobility and damage, but I don't know. I don't see a lot of people playing them. I think they're more like PvE right now in its current state. Kind of like Dark Knights, but we don't talk about that. Mewa, I'm not even sure about Mooses and Mewas, to be honest. Ninjas are just strong, regardless of what you play. Kunos have, like, a 0 0.5 second ability that hits you 12 times that you don't know how to block it. And just one shot to you. Or 12 shot you before you can react, but I'm pretty sure that's succession. Oof. You could, like, you could just tell which classes do better in succession and awakening just by looking at the pen dandies and which ones are sold out and which ones are max priced. So, like this one, for example, sold out with orders. One just sold two, like three minutes ago. At max price, that is. If you're to make a pen and want to sell it, this is the one you should be making. Vediant. Awaken Dark Knight's Dead Class. Dead Class. Wrong. Wrong choice. Play succession, then you'll be fine. Strikers, I'm not too sure, actually. Strikers are just good, in general. Mystics, I think. Succession. I don't know, actually. Mystics are a little bit of both. Because um, some of my guildies play both of them, and then they both just hit really hard. And then again, I'm fighting, like, 300 AP mystics in my guild that just delete me. I swear, like, mystics are, like, the super hard counters for Dark Knights. Not only do they take reduced magic damage, I think that's still in the game. Like, they try to, like, mitigate that a little bit. I remember reading that in the patch notes to try to make it more balanced against magic classes, but, I mean, let's be real, they didn't do anything. Oh, hold on. I'm glad I didn't hit that button. Hold on, let me make some turn maneuvers real quick. I need 7 CP for that. Oh my goodness. Where do I even have an extra CP that I could take from? Uh, alright, 
let's look for a node that we can get. What is this? White cedar. Sky mushrooms. Do I even need sky mushrooms? I don't even think so. Do I even need cedar timber? Why do I have this node? Does it give something that I'm not seeing? Spirit leaf and cedar timber? What the heck? Cedar sap is good. But that one's like... Out in the middle of nowhere you have to. Oh my god, the amount of rocks. Did cancel that, right? Oh boy, seven CP. Well, dude, just get one more. Go cooking for like eighteen hours, and then we'll get one CP. What is this node even? Cotton. As I have 120,000 of it. Pumpkin and cooking honey. Why do we need pumpkins? Did it, do pumpkins even sell for anything? Where is this even going? It's not even idle. What note? What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> dude, wait, hold up. I'm so confused. What note is this? Huh? Artisan, human worker. Wait, where are these pumpkins going? Oh. Never mind, it is idle. I thought it was like some I thought I did something dumb. Do pumpkins even sell? Yeah, they sell. It's a worthwhile note apparently. Probably not the best one to have, but I have it. What the heck guild? Nice. Fake snake. Combine 72 elixir of training 
Why 72? That is such a random number. What the? Okay, so this one is literally just a double version. That lasts for 360 minutes. Wait, that's six hours. Wait, no way that's it. It's four hours. Wait, that's six hours. I'm stupid. That's three hours. What are you doing? Uh, sailing XP 20%. What? When do you use that for sailing? Like, what do you... What the heck? Dude, I'm so confused. My guildies are just like, Hey, I use that when I grind Margoria. I'm just like, okay, that's cool. Does that matter? They had like a bartering XP potion. I can understand that. The lasting six hours. That turn speed can never do that on my Gallius. That was actually some pretty good time, to be honest. From here to Hakovin and back in under 30. That's actually really good for me, because I remember timing it a while ago, and it used to be around 40 minutes per Hakovin run. The fact that I can cut down a little bit less than 15 minutes off of it is pretty nice. Uh, I remember when we had almost 40,000 coins, but then we decided we wanted to uh, go for a blue cannon. Yeah, same here. I will get that blue cannon. Almost done, I can feel it. 14 more. Let me pull out the calculator real quick. Yeah, that's about 3,500 C coins. Let's see. Yeah, we have one more refresh for today. That one is in three hours. So if I were to do this, I'd be at like 1,700 coins. If we a little, maybe 1,600 coins if we do a Margoria run, which we're about to do. And uh, after 1,600 coins, we could probably, if we get lucky, we can get 3,500 today. But. If not, then we get it tomorrow. It's not really a big deal. I'm not in a rush to get the blue cannon because that means we have to upgrade it. <laughs> and after watching so many videos and my guildies are just like, yeah, upgrading blue cannon or like blue character is actually awful. I'm just like, oh, okay, well. But I'm pretty sure like the stats I saw is like blue cannon is just at plus zero is slightly better, like barely better, basically the same thing, but barely better than green plus 10. So it's not like I'm downgrading like you would from uh, Gallius gear. Actually, I think I did a weird route because um, I had the sellable frigate gear and then I moved straight up to blue Gallius. I skipped the whole green process because I just used that to upgrade. And then here we are, actually. Full plus 10. I'll probably still do a lot of uh, bartering because I need to get the coins, but I'm not in a rush to get plus 10. I've never seen the dock empty before. You go to certain channels and there's like 30 boats just like overlapping. It's like, how do I get on my boat? The fact that it's empty right now is so amazing. So 
there anything I need while I'm out here? Oh, I actually do need those. Anything else I need while I'm out here? I can't believe this is one to one. I'm so upset. Do I need more of those? Not yet. Turn speed is actually really good. People were, I used to think it was like whatever stat, like all I wanted was speed, acceleration. But when you actually see people who have a high turn speed boat, it's just like, oh my God, what is that? Oh yeah, also, it's kind of late, but we hit the 5.1k, so we see brilliance in regular barters now, that's cool. It's a little irrelevant now, but if I ever wanted to make a second Carrick, I guess I'll do that. Dang, there's no money run or nothing for money today. Unlucky. We'd be going into the ocean for actually just sea coins. See monsters on adhesives? What? This is how you make the origin of winds with blackstone powder. Dude, I've been selling these <laughs> for 10k each. How many do you get? Like one? 10 and 110 for one? Anyway, um, with that said, I think I'm out for today. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.